Would you like to know how to sell more products on your site to people who are already willing to buy from you? Sounds great, right? Well, you can do that with upsells and cross sells on your site. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. So make sure to stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elle McCann and I am the owner and creator of Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee, and I've been a Shopify expert for over six years now. Now, if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for joining us and we post videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. If you've already been a subscriber to this channel for a while, thank you so much for watching another video and make sure to comment below and say, hey, we would love to connect with you. Okay, so as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we are going to be talking about how to upsell customers who are already about to purchase from you on your site or have already purchased from you and are on that thank you page and how to increase that total order value. So you see this already a lot of times with places like McDonald's, which is a big popular chain across the world. So they'll say if you get a small burger, they'll say, would you like to add fries with that? or would you like to make it a Big Mac? So there are two different examples here. The first is an upsell. So it's the same product, but you're either going to offer a, another version of it, or you're going to offer the exact same product again. So again, with McDonald's, if you had a regular burger, it would be asking them if you want to upsell them and get them that Big Mac. So for your Shopify store, let's say you sell socks you might have a pair of socks and once they purchase one pair of socks, you may want to upsell them on another similar pair of socks or the exact same pair of socks, but maybe a four pack now. So you already know that they're interested in that first pair. So you're going to go ahead and see if they'd be interested in purchasing more for a better value or if they would be interested in purchasing an additional pair of socks as well. Now you can also do something called cross sells. So this is, for example, with McDonald's, if you ordered a burger, they would ask you if you wanted fries or a drink with that. So it's a complimentary product. So for your store, if we go with the socks example, it would be, okay, would you like to purchase these shoes or these laces for these shoes? So you're going to be giving them a complimentary product that there is in that same niche that they might already still be interested in and you could get them to purchase both. So I really like doing these on my Shopify store and it's a great way to really try and increase that total order value because think about it, you've spent so much time, effort and money getting people to come to your Shopify store. So it makes sense that if you've already got them there and they're already interested in your products that you might wanna go ahead and try and upsell them or cross sell them and get them to purchase just a little bit more. So my favorite app to do this is called the Bold Upsell app. Now there are a lot of different upsell apps in the Shopify app store. However, I really like this app for a couple different reasons. So first off, Bold Commerce is one of the best app providers, in my opinion, for customer support. Their team is on it. So if you have any problems with setting up the app, or just trying to make it perform better, they are definitely going to be there to support you if you contact them. Also, they have what's called smart funnels with this. So you can set up different funnels. So let's say you offer them with that sock example, the exact same sock, but in a four pack, and they say no to that. Well, then you can set up a, another pop-up to show up that will then give them a different design sock or however it is that you want to set it up. So it'll automatically know based on if they say yes or no to that first offer, what offer to show them next. So it's a great way of still potentially getting that sale even if they don't say yes to that first offer. I also like that their upsell app is a pop-up because it doesn't get lost on the site. It comes as soon as you add one of their products to the cart that you've already set this to have an upsell or a cross sell for, it'll pop that up on the screen so it's right in front of you and you are not going to miss it. You can also do buy one, get one free campaigns, which are a great way to run 
exciting promotions, especially around the holidays for Black Friday, and to make your sales more distinctive than just offering a discount code. So if they add one product to the cart, then they would be hit with that promotion of a buy one, get one free, and whatever deal you've set up with that. And last reason why I really like the Bold Upsell app is that they actually let you do upsells after they have purchased. So think about it, they just purchased on your site, so you know that they're gonna really want this product because they just purchased it, and they're on your thank you page on your site, and they're actually allowing you to upsell them or cross sell them there on the thank you page. So they'll actually even have a countdown timer to increase that urgency and the likelihood that they'll go ahead and just with one click, add an additional product to their order. So they don't have to go through the checkout process again. They don't have to go looking on your store. They make it really easy with just one click for them to add another product to their order and go ahead and of course increase that total order value. So these are some of just the great reasons why I really love this app. I'm gonna be showing you now in my computer how to set this up for your Shopify store and how we're setting it up for one of our stores. So let's go ahead and hop into my computer now and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to set up. So first I am in my Shopify backend and if you click on apps on the left hand side and you can then hit the visit the Shopify app store button at the top. And then in the search bar, we are just going to type in upsell and bold upsell right here is what we'll be adding. And we'll just hit add app. And we're gonna confirm that it will have access to our store and the products that it needs to have access to by hitting install app. And it's just confirming that the plan is gonna be $9.99 per month, but we do have a free 14 day free trial. So we're just gonna hit start free trial. And then now you can see the terms and conditions with this app, but we'll just go ahead and hit accept and continue. However, I do recommend that you read all of that. So now we are going to go through with the actual setup process of the app. So if we just click this arrow for next, it's prompting us to install this bold cashier, which is what lets you do the after checkout order. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit install bold cashier and it isn't listed in the app store, so if you search for it, you're not gonna see it there. However, once you install this first app, you then have access to it. So we're just gonna hit Install Unlisted App. And again, more terms and conditions that I recommend you take a few minutes to read. We're gonna just hit Accept and Continue. So now for, this is the Bold Cashier app, which lets you do the after checkout purchases you'll go through and set up the settings of setting up your payment gateway, your shipping, taxes, and then customize and test your checkout. So this will be different information for each individual person. So if we go into set up payment gateway, for this store I am using uh, Shopify payments. However, you can see here you have to have a different provider. So for me, I also have a Stripe account, so I would connect it to Stripe but you can have different ones that you connect to. So I'm not gonna go through setting this up since it has a lot of personal information, but if we go back to the home area, you'll just continue through these settings of setting up your different information like your shipping zone. So a lot of that you would just copy your existing shipping rates from your Shopify store, as well as your tax settings. And then you can just customize what you want that to look like in terms of the styling of the pop-up. Uh, and the checkout area. So once you've gone through all of this and customized everything, you can then turn on the cashier functionality, which is going to let you do the upsells on the checkout page. But we are gonna go back to the upsell app. So I have it in this other tab here. However, if you already had closed out of it, you can just click on apps on the left-hand side and then go to product upsell. So you can see here on the dashboard how many people have seen your offers, how many people have added to cart, and the total conversions and revenue that your upsells and cross-sells have generated. But before we go in and actually create some of these offers, we want to first install the app. So if you click under in 
additional information, you'll see the installation instructions there. However, so we'll click into this, it has two different ways. Which, so one way which is an expert installs it, but it takes two plus days for someone on their team to do it. And then their other way, which is their installation robot does it for you. So I have always found that their installation robot has done a great job, but before you go adding this to your main Shopify theme, I always recommend making a duplicate. So if we click first to online store on the left-hand side, and then I'm just going to, this is my main published theme. We're using the handy theme, which I've already covered how to customize that in a previous video. So if you're interested in that, I will put a link in the info cards in the description below, but we are going to click on actions and we're going to say duplicate. And the reason why you want to do this is you want to make sure you have a backup version of your site. So in case the app installation goes wrong and it puts in the wrong code, you can then go in and actually see how um, you can revert back to your previous version and you don't have to go in and edit all the code. So I'm going to go to actions again here and rename this. Okay. And I'm going to just say upsell app added. So that way I know that whenever we go to add in the code, I'm going to be adding it to this theme. So we'll hit rename. Okay. And now we're just going to go back to the app by going to apps on the left hand side, product upsell, and then additional information, installation instructions. And now I'm going to do this start automatic install. So now you can choose which theme you want it to be installed on. And you can see here that they recommend using a duplicate theme. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to select this upsell app added that we just created. So this is a duplicate of our existing Shopify store, but we're going to add it into this one. So that way, whenever we're ready to turn this app live, we can just simply publish this theme. So we're going to hit start code update. So it was really fast, just a few seconds, but it says our installation completed successfully. And that if you have a different kind of pop-up drawer or cart module, that you'll need to make sure you test your store or contact their support team if you encounter any issues. And again, as I said in the beginning of this video, their support team is super awesome. Um, so that's great that if you have anything, you can definitely contact them. We're just gonna hit okay. And now that we've got that installed, you're going to come in to offers on the left hand side and I'm going to go to create offer. So I'm going to do this as a basic offer for pillows in our store. So I'm going to say pillow offer, if I could spell it right. Okay. And I'm going to do an upsell trigger next. So this is what we are going to say starts the process. So what actions and which products should kick off your upsell offer flow. So I'm going to set this trigger and you have two different options. You can either add it to the cart or you can add it to be, have this trigger before checkout. So whenever they're on the cart page and they hit to check out or after checkout, which we can hit activate here since we've got that bold cashier set up. So I haven't gone through the steps of adding in my payment gateway and the shipping and taxes yet. But once you have that set up and you turn on bold cashier, you can then activate this setup. So I'm going to say add to cart. You can then choose if you want to either do a cross sell. So that would be add the offer product to the cart or an upsell, which is replacing the trigger product with the offer product. So this would be, you know, taking them for the sock example again to if they had one product in the cart, asking them if they wanted a four pack of that same sock. And so that's upselling them on the same product, but we're gonna do cross sell for this tutorial and I'm going to offer an additional product. So I'm going to, to just select the products here and you can see all of my products start to pull in that I have here, but we can go in and we can actually customize the filters that we have. So I can come in, I only have one collection it's showing, which is the home collection under the custom. But I'm gonna select pillows here and do a search. And I can add all of these different pillows to continue with. So I can say if someone selects any one of these pillows, 
So we'll hit continue with selected products. We then want to show them the upsell offer at that point or the cross sell. So we can set an offer. So now we can go in and add the title and description and select the products that we want. So if we come in here and hit select products, and let's say now we go to, if we look at pillows again and hit search, I could choose to upsell them or cross sell them on an additional pillow. So trying to get them to purchase two of them, or I could come in now and let's look at the mugs and maybe I do this wake, pray, slay mug. So I can add that in. So if they select any of the pillows and they are continuing with that to their cart, we could add this mug that is recommended to them as well. So we'll hit continue and we can add your title in. And then now you have options of either allowing the customers to select more than one product in the offer or to set product quantities in the offers. So it's really up to you. Now you can also do upsell funnels, which is an add-on for one of their higher price points if you wanted to do. So if they don't select this first offer, then you could give them a second offer of maybe a different coffee mug, or maybe you could switch the product completely of what you're upselling. So you can add that in and hit this try it free today button to go ahead and start the free trial for that app, which will tie in as well. But we're gonna skip that for now and we're gonna move on to the conditions. So we could choose a date range if they choose within a certain start or end date. So this would be great if you were doing kind of like a, a special promotion for like Black Friday, for example, or only if their cart is in a certain price range. So if they hit, you know, $50 minimum, then maybe they get one product for 50% off, however you want it to be. So you can also come in here and make the product image or product names a link to the product page. So if they wanted to learn more about it, I think that's a great way to add that in. And you can also make sure to hide products that are out of stock. So you don't wanna be promoting something if you don't have the quantity for it. So my products that I'm listing here in this store are print on demand, so we don't have to do that option. And I'm just gonna hit save offer, okay? And so now we have this offer set up. So we have pillow offer, what type of offer it is, where it's located, which is at cart and then we can come in here and we can see the triggers that we have set up so if they select one of those pillows then they are presented with this offer so we can see our pop-up that i had add now and save start your mornings off right and then they can just simply hit add to cart or they could hit no thanks or continue so you could continue to create different offers for products all throughout your store that you're promoting and I definitely recommend that you try different ones. So this is a cross sell, maybe next offer that you create, try an upsell and try and get them to purchase the same product or a higher quantity of the same product. And then also definitely set up that bold cashier and get that configured so that you can offer these upsells and cross sells on the checkout page, on, on that thank you page of the checkout area. So that way you can actually hopefully get an additional add-on to their order once they've already actually placed the order with you. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Click the link in the video description below and you can go ahead and get signed up for a free trial for the Bold Upsell app. Also, if you are not yet a subscriber of this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and be the first to be notified about any new video tutorials that we put out all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. Thanks for watching.